Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Sorry I've been away for a while, but I bought a house and so I've been busy moving. But anyway, I'm back with some more digital goodies. Um, what I have in front of me is a my woe enclosure. It's just for a hard drive, solid state drive. It's just a little 3.5 inch, no, 2.5 inch, right? 2.5 are the small ones? Yeah, anyway, you know what I'm talking about. This is uh, an enclosure. They're super cheap. You can get them on Amazon, which is where I bought this guy. Uh, now, I've covered these guys before, but the difference with this one is that this is a USB-C enclosure so uh, we're gonna get the get get those better speeds uh, hopefully with USB-C connection versus the old standard um, you know uh, USB what did they call it micro B or whatever the, the funky one or whatever that was used for hard drives and stuff anyway uh, this is a USB-C one and as you can see, it's a MyWo. You get their MyWo packaging, worldwide excellent storage supplier, I'm sure. Uh, you see here, I think that's the model number, so it's a K2510. Uh, again, it's a Type C. It says it's compatible with Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. I use Windows, so um, that's what I'm going to be going on. Um, anyway, it says here it supports 2.5-inch um, SATA. Um, or 7 to 9.5 millimeter. Uh, you got your dimensions, all that sort of stuff. Basically, they're all the same. Let's take a look at what's inside. Um, we just opened it up. We've got some documentation. Full disclosure, I've already opened it up, but anyway, that doesn't matter. Uh, we've got some documentation here. What do we got? We've got some instructions, um, etc. It's all in Chinese, I'm assuming. Um, but uh, here we go. Here's some English. Uh, basically just tells us how to open it. Um, I've had my woe stuff in the past. It's always been a bit of a pain to get these things off. We'll see if that's still the case. Uh, it's going to come uh, with some instructions on how to partition to drive and all that sort of stuff, but you probably already know how to do that. Check that off to the side. I'm not sure what this is. This is a little warranty card, so if you wanted to fill that out, scan the QR code or whatever, um, go for it. This guy is really cheap. Uh, I want to say they're less than $10. I honestly can't remember how much I bought it for, um, but you know, I'm always on the lookout for cheap stuff, so um, you know, I probably would have got the cheaper one. Anyway, I'm going to put the enclosure itself off to the side, and I just want to take a look at the cable that comes with it. Um, I'm actually a bit disappointed in this regard because it's not a USB-C to USB-C cable, which is kind of cheap. I should know about I mean, you get what you pay for, I guess, right? But as you can see, it's got USB-C to USB-A, I believe they call this one. Um, I think it's 5 gigabits per second is what this enclosure is rated for. Um, probably not going to get anywhere near those speeds anyway. It all depends on, you know, the drive itself and all that sort of thing. Um, but I would have liked it if it was a USB-C to USB-C cable. Um, I mean, obviously I can just swap it out with one of my own cables and that will be fine. Uh, but a bit disappointed that it didn't come in the box. Anyway, I'll take the cable, put it off to the side. Let's take a look at the actual enclosure itself. Um, uh, you can get a bunch of different ones uh, in terms of color and stuff like that. Uh, I went for the all clear one. I thought that looked kind of cool um, or whatever. I don't know. As you can see, there's the little um, SATA connector right there. It's got the little chip thingy uh, that kind of controls all the transmission. And then you've got your USB-C there. Um, so again, if you were to use the included cable, you're using USB-C to connect the device, but then you're still limiting yourself to the USB-A, the standard USB port on your computer. So you probably want to swap that cable out for USB-C to USB-C. Anyway, um, you know, it feels, I mean, it's plastic, so I mean, it is what it is. Now, how do I open this thing? I think I go from the back. No. You have to like slide the cover. Oh, there we go. So again, if you get one of these, they can be a bit of a pain to open. What you need to do is you kind of need to apply pressure with both thumbs here. And then as you do that, just sort of slide it down and it should just come right off. 
And there you go. So that's it open. Now I just happen to have a uh, solid state drive that I'm not using. It's this guy right here. It's a Lexar. I believe it's a two terabyte. Um, I got this on sale on Amazon. I don't think they're nearly as cheap as they once were, but uh, the NS100 two terabyte model I think was like 60 US dollars. So I picked it up, had no use for it. Um, but you know, whatever, it's been sitting around doing nothing. So as you can see, um, you know, there's your SATA connector. We're just going to line that up. In the instructions, it says you kind of have to angle it, um, which I think is maybe true. Let's take a look here. So obviously, it's lining up pretty good. I think we just need to secure that in there. And there you go. It's in there. So it's all connected up, ready to go, ready to be used. Now, I guess that's normal. It just kind of pops up a little bit. But when I put the case on, it should kind of hold it in place. There we go. No wiggle. There is a little pad down at the bottom here um, to kind of prevent this from, or to keep it seated properly. You know, I would have liked to seen like a little pad or something that you could like apply to the drive itself just to make sure that it was nice and secure in there. Um, you know, particularly if you're using those mechanical drives, some of them are like thinner. If you get the like really thin ones, I can't remember what they're called, but you know, that could um, cause it to move around a little bit inside this case. But I mean, look, I think it looks pretty snazzy. It looks cool uh, with the sort of clear case um, and yeah it does the job let's plug it into the computer and we'll quickly take a look at it okay so as you can see we've hooked up the uh, solid state drive in the enclosure you'll notice it's got that cool little blue light showing you that it's on um, when you do plug it into your system for the first time you will have to essentially open up uh, your disk partitioner thing, disk management, whatever it's called, um, and you'll have to sort of initialize the disk. You either use a master boot record or the GUID partition table or GPT. Use GPT, uh, it's far superior. And then basically uh, you can you know set up partitions if you want or you can just do a new simple volume, which is what I did just for now. Um, and you'll notice that on my computer here, I've got the uh, two terabyte SSD is what I've named it, and there's nothing in it. Um, but if we kind of scroll down, hit right click, go to properties, you'll see here that the two terabyte, and I realize um, yeah, you guys probably can't see this all that well, uh, but it says it's got 1.86 terabytes of free space. So that's pretty typical. Uh, you know, you buy a two terabyte drive, you're never going to get exactly two terabytes. Um, so it's going to be a little bit less. Uh, but it seems to be working um, pretty well, uh, so I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, obviously the enclosure allows me to access the drive. If I just grab some files, I'm going to take some with a couple images in here and just drag them over. Um, it's like instantaneous. Again, these files were not particularly big. Uh, they were just images for albums, uh, so not particularly big. But, uh, you know, it was almost instantaneous. Um, you know, if, uh, let's say I've got some uh, larger files uh, here, um, let's say, let's just do uh, this whole folder. Actually, I've, I've ripped a couple DVDs, um, Jeff Buckley and John Mayer. Uh, so I've got a Jeff Buckley file here, which is about 1.1 gigabytes, and I've got the John Mayer one, uh, both concerts. Uh, it's about a, a gig, so you're looking at about two gigs or so. Let's drag that over, um, and let's see. We are getting about 33 megabytes per second. Again, uh, that's probably due to the fact that I'm using the included cable that came with it. So again, I'm not using a USB-C to USB-C. It's USB-C to USB-A. Obviously, your USB controller on your computer as well uh, is going to sort of limit the speed at which you're able to transfer files. Um, but again, you know, you're looking at, um, you know, pretty large files. You know, being capped out at about 33 megabytes per second, I think that's more my hardware than anything else. Um, like I said, this enclosure should uh, support speeds that are faster than that. Um, 
But anyway, I'm pretty happy with the little Lexar uh, solid state drive and the MyWo enclosure. It's a match made in heaven as far as I'm concerned. I'm probably going to actually use it with uh, my ROG Ally and install games on it since, uh, you know, I'm running out of space on that thing and I don't really feel like cracking it open and, and, and changing the uh, solid state drive on the inside of it. But anyway, um, yeah, the MyWo. Pretty good. I'll leave a uh, link down in the description so that you can pick one of these guys up if you want. I think they look pretty snazzy too. I mean, if you don't like it, you know, you can get different colors uh, and, you know, whatever. But, um, you know, I'll leave a link down in the description. They're pretty cheap. Grab them if you need them. Anyway, that's it for this video. This is Gizmo Joe. Sign